My whole life I always knew I was special Even with no remainders I could always move a decimo Money on my mind while the girls that made un beso Hustlers in my blood and it's running through my vessels Just trying to clear the threshold, just trying to make a way In my race against time, I could see an early grave School to prison pipeline, 12 years a slave Suspension and detention is conditioned for a cage The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros The comments made by Earl Spence Wrong button. All right, let's take a look at the comments. All right, and these appear courtesy of Boxing Scene. It says, Earl Spence, I've been the shot caller. I'm the big fish at 147. I want Undisputed. Um, And here's what the article says. WBC and IBF champion Earl, the true Spence, is predicting fireworks for his upcoming Walter Waite unification with WBA world champion Yordanis Ugas. Their fight will headline a Showtime pay-per-view event on Saturday, April 16th from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The contest is the 12th unification in the history of the Walter Wake division. Ugas is viewed as a legitimate threat after winning 12 of his last 13 fights since 2016, including his big win last year when he outboxed 8th division champion Manny Pacquiao. Uh, the winner will walk away with three of the four major sanctioning titles with Terrence Crawford's WBO title as the last remaining piece of the puzzle. And this is quoting Earl Spence. Uh, I can guarantee fireworks on April 16th. Ugas is going to give it his all just like I will. I'm going to put another great performance in front of my hometown crowd. It's man down and it's strap season. I'm the guy everyone is talking about. The motivation I get from my family and friends allows me to push through everything I've gone through, said Spence. I have always, I have, I also have to thank Ugas for agreeing to take this fight with me. He's a tough competitor who comes to fight. I thought he beat Sean Porter in 2019, and then he beat Manny Pacquiao with an arm injury. He's a great warrior, but I believe that it's my time to show the world that I'm here with to win another belt then he said at the end of the day i want to be undisputed walter way uh, i want to be undisputed walter way champion of the world this is another step toward that goal i've been the shot caller i'm the big fish at 147 it feels good to be back it's a blessing to be in this position most people take life for granted until they're given a second chance and i've been given a second chance in life and a third chance in boxing that's what uh Earl Spence had to say some turnover to UG. What's your reaction to what he had to say? Basically, he's a big fish and he wants to be undisputed at 147 and that he's been given a third chance at boxing. And he's not going to take it for granted. Uh, what's your reaction? Do you think this is uh, encouraging for a bout with TC and Earl Spence? Um, encouraging. The only way is if, again, behind the scenes, Earl Spence's team is reaching out to TC's team to make this happen after this Ugas fight. Um, but what he's saying, I'm be honest, it sounds like the same old stuff that he was saying last year and the year before that. So um, I don't know. I kind of feel like it's almost like a broken record. Like, we know <laughs> you want undisputed. However, if your team and, and TC's team is saying there's no money in the fight, the fight's not going to happen. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't know. That's why I'm like, eh, I believe when I see it, you know, I just need uh, these gentlemen behind the scenes to really figure this out. But before we even jump that gun, stay focused on Ugas. Ugas is a real deal, you know. So um, I wouldn't want to spend too much time and energy talking about TC when his very next opponent, you know, is hungry and ready to take his belts. So, you know, Spence, man, just stay focused. It Undisputed could come but right now your top priority is defeating ugas all right tbe uh i agree with you to the point said but i don't think it's a broken record i'm just thinking spence has solidified himself as one of the top guys in the um welterweight division and he uh he hasn't dodged dodge any opponents yes he has had circumstances he has had um he has um gone through so much, and he's shown that he can uh, face adversity. He's suffered an accident, came back and fought. 
Uh, he was going to fight Pacquiao. He fought two tough. He was going to have two tough fights after the accident, which was Danny Garcia, then Pacquiao. But then he suffered an eye injury, and now he's coming back and he's going to fight Ugas right away. And we don't know how he's going to look. We don't know what the eye injury did to him. But for him to say he wants undisputed, everybody, everybody's been saying they want undisputed. And for I'm not mad at Spitz for saying what he wants. And we we spoke on the last minute segment how TC has priced himself out, and Instead of pricing yourself out, be reasonable sometimes. And once you win, you, you're the guy who calls the shots. But right now, Spence is the guy in the driver's seat. And Ugas, Ugas beats him. Ugas is the guy in the driver's seat. See, TC doesn't call the shots for Ugas. Ugas calls the shots. So these this fight right here determines who, who runs the welterweight division. And still, at the end of the day, TC, you're still, you, you're, you're not, you're not going to be the you, can't demand a number that you not you don't deserve. Well, um, for me, it is encouraging because he's talking a spicy talk, and I like the spicy talk, and I like it when it includes uh, I want to be undisputed, and he's fighting one of the only two other champions left in the division. So if he beats Ugas, he said he wants undisputed. The only person left is TC. Now, I'm hoping he's genuine in this, although for me, there's no reason that he wouldn't be genuine. I mean, I just be honest. Like, I've been watching boxing my entire life. There's nothing I see about TC that makes me think he wouldn't be serious about it. Like, I don't know what people see when they watch TC. Like, when I watch Canelo... I see a guy who I can see people psychologically being fearful about fighting. I don't see that when I watch TC fight. Like, TC is a skilled fighter, but, like, he doesn't beat his opponents, like, the way that Canelo beats his opponents. Canelo, like, takes eye sockets. Canelo, like, damages these dudes, breaks biceps. Like, TC... You know what I mean? He he wins, but he wins with like skill. Like I don't I don't see like the fear. Like the fear is, yeah, you might lose, but it's not like even with Wilder. If you fight Wilder, right? Like you might get knocked out cold. That's a different type of fear. You fight AJ, you might get knocked out. It's different than fighting Otto Valin and just being outboxed. You know what I'm saying? You being outboxed and maybe you'll get stopped from accumulation of punishment or something like that, but. You know, I don't see the fear. So if he beats Ugas and he wants TC, I'm thinking make it happen. And I'm thinking make it happen to both guys. Because at this particular point in time, I'm sick of, you know, the Earl Spence fans who bring up the fact that, you know, he's beating this guy, he's beating that guy, he's selling. That is true. But still... There's a fight out there that people want to see. Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence. And a lot of it is due to the promotion that TC got when he was with ESPN. A lot of it is due to the promotion he got when he was with Top Rank. Perhaps that was a, a, a barrier between the fight happening, as we'll discuss in a later segment, because there was another fight that was agreed upon that's not happening because the promoters. So perhaps... Top rank in PBC was a hurdle that they had to jump over in the past that they will no longer have to deal with should Earl Spence get past um, Ugas. And maybe the fact that TC won't have to give a certain percentage of his money to um, top rank per se would make it so that he can request less money than he normally was asking for and still make a profit, if that makes sense to people. Because say, hypothetically, you're giving 20%, 30% of what you make to a promoter or to a promotional company, and you no longer have to pay them that percentage, you get to keep it, so you you can you can ask for a little less money. I, I hope they find a way to work it out. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I think TC has a better chance of beating Earl Spence Jr. than he does of beating Jamal Charlo. And I also think that we'll get better fights with TC at 147 than we would get with TC at 154. And I'm not saying TC should move up to 154, but not necessarily at this time. Mm -hmm. um, with 
Jamal, 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 Jamel and Brian Castaño. If Jamel wins, moving up and taking on Jamel, what wouldn't that fight be bigger? If you beat Earl Spence and you're undisputed at Walter Wade, and then you go, you know, I think I think regardless of what Earl Spence does and what TC does, people are always going to look at them like they have unfinished business until they fight each other. And and like it or not, their names are connected to one another. So if Earl Spence does beat Ugas and he doesn't fight TC, I mean, again, no one's asking. No one should no one should have to take a major pay cut, but at least be reasonable. Like both guys, man, just be reasonable. Cause your careers, although you you don't think so, are gonna be linked to one another. It's almost like Lennox Lewis and um Riddick Bo. It's the best fight that never happened. People still always talk about it. Remember Riddick Bo took the WBC belt and threw it in the trash? We don't want that. We don't want another situation like that. We want to see the fight happen, but these guys got to sit down and work it out. And when people say to TC, humble yourself, that doesn't mean not know your worth. That doesn't mean we, we don't want you to be fairly compensated, but we just don't want you to price yourself out before the negotiations even begin. Like, be realistic. Sit down. Have a realistic discussion. Like, um, and work out some deals, man, so you can be in the fights. I think TC is a phenomenal fighter. There are great fights he can make, but at the rate he's going – He's going to be sitting there on the shelf until the WBO orders are mandatory for him. And then he's going to have to take the fight. And then if he refuses to take the fight, they're just going to strip him. And if he gets stripped, then he's practically irrelevant. So while he has the ability to make his fights, he needs to make sure that he's mindful of how long he has before the WBO orders him to fight someone. And if, 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 if they do order him to fight someone, how much he's going to make for that fight? Because trust me, every promoter in the game is aware of that. And they're not going to offer him much more than that. All right. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros.